Hello, second graders. It's so great to see you today. Today for our math lesson, we're going to be practicing subtracting from the hundreds. Let's get started with our lesson today. The first problem on the screen is 148 minus 97. Now, to get us started, we're going to backtrack to a few months ago when we started practicing subtraction. Now, the first time that we started doing subtraction, we started by drawing some pictures using our base 10 blocks. Now that we're more comfortable with subtraction, we don't usually draw pictures anymore, but I think it's important that we remember how we did that. Now, when we do subtraction, the only number that we need to draw a picture for is the top number, which is the larger number. So let's draw our 147. So first I have 100. I have 10, 20, 30, 40 with my four tens, and I have eight ones. Now, the next step was very important. We need to start with the ones and ask ourselves, if I have eight ones, can I take seven of them away? Hmm, is eight larger than seven? Yes, it is. Let's cross them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that was so easy. I have one, one left. So let's put that at the bottom in the ones place. Now let's go next door to the tens. When I look at my tens, I have four tens. And in my problem, I have four tens, but I need to take nine tens away. Hmm, is four bigger than nine? It's not, it's not. So I need to go next door to my neighbor, Mr. Hundred, he's so nice, and he shares with me all the time. Now, Mr. Hundred is going to ungroup. That means break apart, and it's going to give me 10 tens. As you know from class, 100 is the same as 10 tens. I'm going to draw them in purple just to make them look a little different. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So now, when you look at my drawing, I have no more hundreds. He ungrouped so I could have enough tens. Now I can cross off nine tens. I'm going to switch our color one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine. And let's count together second grade and see how many we have left. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That means I have five tens. Sorry if you can't see that very much. The green doesn't look good on the purple background. So in total, I have 51 left when I take 148 and I subtract 97. Let's try another example. In this example, we will take 415 and subtract 275. Now, just like last time, I always start subtracting in the ones place. This will make it easier. If I start in the hundreds, I might have to go back and erase if I need to ungroup anywhere. So we start in the hundreds, then we go to the tens, and last, we go to the hundreds. So we start with the smallest part of our number first. Let's look at the ones place. Five minus five. So if I have five and I take five away, how many do I have left? Zero. There's none left. In this problem, we're just going to try using it in our ungrouping strategy instead of drawing a picture. All right, so our ones are finished. They're good to go. Let's look at our tens. I have one minus seven. Now let's think about this. If I have one, can I give you seven? No, one is smaller than seven, so I can't do that. But luckily, I have a neighbor who can give me 10 
tens, and that's the hundreds. So watch what I will do second grade. I'm going to cross off my four hundreds, and I'm going to take one of them. So I will have three hundreds left. Now, I know that that hundred that I took away is going to give me 10 tens. Now, here's a little trick that we use in my class. We take the new 10 and we can put it right in front of the 10 that we already had. We had one and we got 10 more. I know that 10 plus one more is 11. Now I can subtract. So I have 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Four tens. Now let's subtract the hundreds. I have 3 minus 2, which gives me 1 left. Great job, second grade. So 415 minus 275 gives us 140. Oh, this problem looks a little tricky. Do you think it looks tricky too? Oh, this one is different than the other ones. In this problem, the top number has two zeros. It's the number 300. So we might need to use some different strategies to help us solve this problem. Let's start, just like last time, over in the ones place. Now I have zero minus nine. If I don't have any, can I give you nine? No, that doesn't make any sense. But when I go next door to my tens, who usually helps me out, my tens doesn't have anything to give me because they have zero as well. So that means that I need to start ungrouping at the hundreds. So I'm going to take my three hundreds and take one of them away. Now I have two hundreds. Now what was that magic number? How many tens are in a hundred? Ten tens. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to give ten tens. Oh, that's nice. Now the tens are good. But my neighbor over here, Mr. Ones, he still doesn't have any. So the tens are so nice and they're going to let the ones take one of their tens away to give them 10 ones. Now we are all ready to subtract. So I have 10 minus nine. Hmm, if I have 10 and I take nine away, I have one left. What about nine minus four? Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Five tens. And in the hundreds place, I have two minus one. That means I have one left. So my answer is 151. Today we're going to dive into using a new number when we subtract. That number is the number 1,000. Now, we've added to get to 1,000 before, but today's our first day subtracting with 1,000. Now, let's think about 1,000. So if I have 10 ones, I get a new 10. 10 tens, gives me a new hundred. I wonder what 10 hundreds would give me. Let's count together. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. That thousand is made up of 10 hundreds. So, we can use this thousand to help us subtract. Let's take a look and see how to do that. Just like every time we subtract, we always start in the ones place. But look at our ones place. I have zero and I need to take two away. Can I do that? No. 
Let's go to our neighbor. I have zero. Oh no, let's go one more neighbor. Oh, I have zero again. So it looks like we're going to have to start on grouping in the thousands. Now watch what I do to do that. Now I'm going to take my thousand and ungroup it. So there's no more thousands left. They're so nice, they share with us. We only had 1,000 and they ungrouped. Now, like we said earlier, if I have a thousand, a thousand is 10 hundreds. So I'm gonna give the hundreds those 10 hundreds. But Mr. Tens needs some too. So the hundreds are so nice. The hundreds take one of their hundreds away and give it to the tens. But the tens notice that the ones need some love too. So they give one of their tens away to give us 10 ones. Now we're able to ungroup. Don't forget to cross off those tens to get nines because we'll be off on our answer if we don't cross them out and make them nines. Let's subtract. 10 minus two. 10 minus two gives me eight. Nine minus five, so nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. I used my touch points to solve that one. Nine minus seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And I have zero thousands left. So I don't have to put anything in the thousands place. So my answer is 248. Let's try one more where we're subtracting from the thousands. Since this is new, we might need some more practice on it. Now, just like last time, I have zero ones, zero tens, and zero hundreds. So, I'm going to start on grouping in the thousands. The thousands gets ungrouped into ten hundreds. Let's give those ten hundreds next door. But the hundreds are going to share with the tens. So I'm going to ungroup one of my hundreds and give those ten tens to the tens place. But the ones, they need some love too. So I'm going to take one of those tens and give the ones place 10 ones. Now we're ready to subtract. 10 minus nine is one. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And nine minus four, nine, eight, seven, six, five. 531. One last problem for us to work on today. An artist buys 500 new paintbrushes. She gives her friends 261 of them for their projects. How many paintbrushes does the artist have left? I saw a few key words in here. It says that she gives the paintbrushes to her friends and I saw the words have left. That tells me that we're going to be subtracting because the artist started with 500 paintbrushes and she gave away 261 of them. Let's go ahead and subtract. Oh, I have zero ones, zero tens, which means I must start ungrouping in the hundreds place. I had five hundreds. I'm going to ungroup just one of them. That gives me 10 tens but I need to give some to my ones too. So I'm going to take those 10 tens, make it nine, and give my neighbor 10 ones. Now we can subtract. 10 minus one is nine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And four hundreds minus two hundreds, two hundreds. That means that she has 239 paintbrushes left.